Is there a, something in politics that just because you're at 14 percent, time's narrative becomes more important? Yeah, well, especially if you're RFK Jr., right? We're talking about him being at 14 percent. Very few candidates get the kind of coverage he has or the town hall that News Nation did for him last night. Um, I think that's good for him, and I think the Democratic Party is helping him out by not letting him be on the ballot in the first early states, which gives the news media more things to talk about. I think that's why we're seeing his poll numbers where they are today. Um, do I think he's a serious threat to President Joe Biden's renomination? No. Um, but it's certainly interesting to talk about. Um, and you know what? I'm not super surprised that 10 to 30 percent of the Democratic primary electorate, which is depending on what poll you're looking at, is considering someone else. I, I think, you know, that, that's pretty normal, especially at this stage in polling. I understand the counter argument is, is, you know, well, he's an incumbent. But you know what? At the end of the day, voters have varying attitudes and it's a poll eight months out before. So if I were the Joe Biden crew, I wouldn't be super worried about this. But it is interesting to talk about. Yeah, Kurt, the flip side of this, though, is is that RFK is tapping into a, a desire by a group of the population that, interestingly enough, sort of waffles between Democrat and Republican, mm -hmm. but that just wants some type of raw authenticity. Agree or disagree? Uh, almost like what happened with Donald Trump in 2016. Yeah. They just love the idea that there's someone saying the establishment is ignoring you or sticking it to you, and I am here to stand up to the establishment. And that's what he's doing. I mean, if I didn't know any better, it, it's almost as if he could be Joe Rogan in terms of like the, the type of shtick that he has to trying to appeal to those people who feel understandably disenfranchised by the current system. And it's the same recipe that we saw in 2016 with Donald Trump. It, it, it's not lost on me that some of the biggest supporters right now, the most vocal, visible supporters of Kennedy's campaign actually come from the right people like Steve Bannon who are propping him up. And so right, that, Republicans love right, Republicans love this. You want to create either a 19 if you're the Republicans, you want to create 1968, you want to create 1980 all over again. If right. you're Democrats, you'd want to create 1992. And it's, it's something that, you know, Scott was right about this, that... Um, oh, this is a first. Yeah, I'm going to say this out loud publicly. <laughs> one this might be the only time. One That's it. <laughs> it's just because it was recently this guy's birthday. Oh, um, <laughs> any other candidate that's at 14% with maybe a Tim Scott, and they, they would kill for this type of coverage, this type of yeah, saturation. Time to, time to They'd also be debate qualified too, which is an interesting thing. <laughs> <laughs> well, that, that, that's a good point, because there, there is no debate, which I think it's sort of interesting how the Democrats are playing this, right? And you, in a way, if you bring somebody into the tent, you can make them play by the rules. If you keep them outside the tent, as the Democratic Party is trying to do, you can't enforce any rules. And it would appear as though RFK is sort of enjoying that outside the tent, you know, crusader moniker, and he's, he's grabbing onto it. Just take a listen. Will you pledge to support whoever the Dom Democratic nominee is, whoever it is, whether it's you, whether it's President Biden? Oh, I, of course I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. No, of course I'm not. I'm not so I listen. if you don't get the nomination, you won't support President Biden? I don't know what I'll do. Would you then support a, a Republican uh, or gonna, run as I, an independent? Not, you know what? My plan is to win this election, and I don't have a plan B. All right, Scott, you said that he likely won't beat Joe Biden to be the Democratic nominee. Reasonable people can agree on that. I wouldn't bet on it, that's for sure. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, you'll bet on anything. But <laughs> if he runs as a third-party candidate, Georgia, Pennsylvania, a little bit in Michigan, perhaps in New Hampshire, he could change the whole dynamic. Well, let's uh, let's let's just play that out a little. Let's say say he wins all those. There's still a lot of delegates left. No, no, I, oh. I'm talking about running as a third party. Oh, as in a third the, party. In general. Yeah, well, and that's where it's interesting. When you look at the cross tabs of some of these polls, where he pulls votes from and things like that, he does pull votes from conservative Democrats. They're looking for that authenticity. They're looking for a little bit, a little bit of what Marianne Williamson brought them in 2020. Yeah. A little bit what Bernie Sanders bought, brought them in in 2016. And so, you know, he can pull just enough votes off the table, like you said, in Georgia, Pennsylvania. Um, you know, Nevada, Arizona, those are the four states. I'm going to give you a little foreshadowing. Those are the four states we're going to be up late in, you know, 18 months from now. So he up late or up for a week. Up, yeah, right, you, you get the last, the last word. Should, should Democrats be worried about a third party? Um, I think that a third party candidate would be incredibly destructive in terms of handing the Republican nominee, whoever it is, the election. I do think that it's interesting that Kennedy said he only has a plan A. That's to win. When you say things like, I won't support the Democratic nominee and that I like that Donald Trump likes me, that pretty much annihilates plan A of winning a Democratic primary. Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button 
to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.